So I'm going to show you. The first tool that I use is called Riverside. Riverside is made to record an interview between two persons and to record on both and their phone. Okay, so as you can see here in my list of recordings, I have like, I did a few uh, things with uh, my friend Luc. He's in Bangkok, I'm in Chiang Mai. We both use our phone. But then the problem is when you try to broadcast live exactly that, then both the phone will like, let's say you broadcast a Zoom call, okay? But now the phone is like not even that like, 1080p HD. It's like very, very like on Zoom, it's low quality. And then your maybe high quality because you're like, on, we're broadcasting your Zoom, but really like you're broadcasting bad quality and then bad audio. And then you cannot download it to make some modifications after that to do a clip to repurpose the content. That's where Riverside comes in. They will say like, all right, you can have both your phones or a computer. They, they give you like many options. There's a phone app or like you can use a computer and a phone, whatever. You have your two person speaking, but like, well, and they give you like a broadcasting server. So they give you like a nice interface to broadcast the thing, but it also records on both the, like both person's phone the entire HD conversation and then sends it to a server on Riverside. And that's where it comes like really handy because again, if you try to do it with Zoom, it won't be that high quality what you are broadcasting. And then if you, even if you record it on your computer, it won't be that of a high quality. So let's take a recording that I did and then we can see a little excerpt, but if I, when I scroll down on the page in Riverside, I can see that both my phone and my friend's phone were recorded in high quality and I can download them and then put them in a software, an edition software. But wait, there is more. <laughs> so Riverside, they give us also a small editor, small browser editor. So it has none of the functionality that a powerful editor would have, but it have like, it's enough to be honest. And, um, so you can do things like export the entire thing. So for example, I would go here, I would export it 4k, normalize the audio level. You can export, you can add the logo, you can, change the layout so you can have like one speaker full screen speaking after the other or you can put both on left and right there's a few options okay now they also have a new option that it's called magic clips and full episode so you can generate clips and generate an episode so let's do it so i'm going to generate clips and generate an episode what they do is they have an AI to basically search for the best clips and the best shorts that they can produce. Then you have to go in and just tweak it by yourself, but still it's very, very, very short to do. So for example, they say like, oh, your episode is ready. I'm going to click and they did like a little edition of the episode. They normalized the audio level. They did like a bunch of cool things and they remove the silence, which is also cool because if for one minute we're like searching for the next question, they will cut that part out of the thing. They also have a transcript now that they're trying to compete, like they're in competition with the script which is another transcript tool. So it gives you an idea. Like once you generate your episode, you will go to, you will first rename. Like, so I like to keep my thing well organized. So you will rename and then you will export that 
4K, everything, and then export. I won't do it because I did it the other day. And then, once you go back to the page, you can see that they generated a bunch of, they call it magic clip, which is basically like cool moments in the video. So they have like a few 58 seconds, so they would be perfect for a Instagram, TikTok, real YouTube short. So you can go in and generate a bunch of shorts after. But what I suggest is first, you need to process your podcast episode all the way to every platform. And then you can um, do uh, sh clips and short. So let's process the podcast all the way to the end.